Hi there and welcome back to Big Fish Little Fish Aquatics. So today we're talking about ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. So let's just get straight into this. Now one of the most common causes of death for aquarium fish is ammonia. And ammonia is the makeup of nitrogen and hydrogen ions. And when ammonia reacts with water, some will pick up an ion which becomes ammonium, which is NH4, which is slightly less toxic. Depending on your aquarium's pH, you will have a higher concentration of ammonia or ammonium. If you have a high pH, which is greater than 9.25, you'll have more ammonia than ammonium. If you have lower than 9.25, you'll have more ammonium than ammonia. So how does ammonia get into your aquarium? Three very straightforward ways. Fish waste, fish food, dead or decaying matter. And as it slowly decomposes into the water, it forms ammonia. If you are very unlucky, you'll even get ammonia in your tap water. So now you're probably thinking, if this highly toxic ammonia is ever present in my aquarium, then how do our fish survive and how do I reduce it? Now this is where our filters come in. And the best way to avoid ammonia is to cycle your aquarium filters so that you build up beneficial bacteria colonies that can consume the ammonia and convert it into slightly less toxic nitrite, which we'll come onto in a moment. In a cycled aquarium, ammonia should be undetectable. If however you've experienced a spike, then you'll need to perform a water change. A daily one of around 50% whilst using neutralizing chemicals such as Seachem Safe to detoxify your aquarium and add some beneficial bacteria boosters like fluval cycle until your spike has passed. Live plants can help to reduce levels of ammonia in your aquarium as they will consume some ammonium which in turn once consumed reduces the level of ammonia but that process is a video for another day. To check if ammonia is present in your aquarium due to ammonia being invisible test kits should be used. So, as I mentioned earlier, ammonia is converted by bacteria into nitrite and that is how you get nitrite into your aquarium's water unless you're unlucky again and have some in your source water. In a perfectly cycled aquarium, similar to ammonia, nitrite should be undetectable. And similar again to ammonia, if you notice a spike of nitrite in an established aquarium, performing daily water changes and adding bacteria boosters will help protect your fish Assuming your aquarium is cycled, nitrite should be converted by your filter's bacteria colonies into much less harmful nitrate. Now nitrate, being much less harmful, you can generally be comfortable detecting this in your water using test kits with levels up to 20 parts per million, you're going to be pretty safe. Now the best ways to remove nitrate from your aquarium are through regular water changes, and this is to dilute the concentration. Another way to reduce nitrate is through the use of live plants or algae. These will consume the nitrate to support their growth, but from my experience, these really don't outweigh the need to perform a water change. Now I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.